Welcome to Piping Tutorial YouTube channel. In this video we will learn calculation pipe lengths in the pipelines. Please watch the video until the end, I am sure you will improve your piping knowledge with the information we provide here. This video provides excellent practice information about piping skills for piping fitters. Please subscribe to our channel before starting the video. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. Sometimes it is required to calculate the length of the pipe sections in the piping isometric drawings. We try to explain with examples in this video how to calculate the length of the pipe pieces in the pipeline. As you can see, this is an isometric drawing of a 4-inch pipeline. This pipeline consists these pipe fittings, two off 4-inch pipe pieces showing on drawing as item 1, one off 4 inch 90 degree but weld elbow showing on drawing as item 2. One piece 4 inch equal pipe T showing on drawing as item 3. Three off 4 inch weld neck flanges showing on drawing as item 4. Showing you two different dimensions in the pipe isometry drawing. The distance from the flange face to the pipe T is shown as 963 mm and the distance from the pipe T to the pipe elbow is shown as 776 mm. We need to calculate the length of the 4 inch yellow colored pipe pieces used in the fabrication of this pipeline. We will use the 3D model of this pipeline to make your calculation easier to understand. Let's write the dimensions in the pipe isometric drawing on the 3D model of the pipeline. Let's mark the length of one of the pipes as X millimeters, the other as Y millimeters. Now, let's mark the other pipe fittings in the pipeline with appropriate letters. The size of the weld neck flange as F millimeters, the length of the pipe T from the center to the end as T1 millimeters on one side, the length of the pipe T from the center to the end as T2 millimeters on the other side, and the length from the center to the end of the 90 degree pipe elbow as E millimeters. Then 963 is equal, F plus X plus T1 and 776 is equal, E plus Y plus T2. First, we will calculate the distances from the center of the equal pipe T in the 4-inch pipeline to the weld neck flanged face. To find this distance we need to find dimensions of the 4-inch equal pipe T and 4-inch weld neck flanges lengths. Let's start in calculations. Let's look at the chart of the weld neck flange dimensions. This is chart dimensions in inch of the weld neck flanges class 150. The NPS is nominal pipe size of the weld neck flange and shows on this column. The OD is outside diameter of weld neck flange and shows on this column. The H is the height dimension of the weld neck flange and shows in this column. We will look to this row now. Nominal pipe size is 4 inches, outside diameter is 4.5 inches, millimeter equivalent of this 4.5 multiply, 25.4 equal is, 114.3 millimeters. The height dimensions of the 4 inch weld neck flange is 3.03 inches, millimeter equivalent of this 3.03 multiply, 25.4 approximately equal is, 77 millimeters. We find out the length of the 4 inch weld neck flange. F equal is 77 millimeters. Now, let's look at the chart of the equal pipe T dimensions. NPS is nominal pipe size of the equal pipe T and shows on this column. D is outside diameter of equal pipe T and shows on this column. The C and M are the center to end of the equal pipe T, and shows in this column. We will look to this row, nominal pipe size is 4 inch, outside diameter is 114.3 mm, and the center to end of the equal pipe T, is 105 mm. Since this pipe T is equal, the other side of the T also will be 105 mm, so T1 equals T2. We already know the center to end of the equal pipe T. 
T1 equal T2 equal is 105 millimeters. At last let's look at the dimensions chart of but weld elbows 90 degree long radius. NPS is nominal pipe size of 90 degree but weld elbow and shows on this column. The D is outside diameter of 90 degree but weld elbow and shows on this column. The A is the center to end of the 90 degree long radius but weld elbow and shows in this column. We will look to this row, nominal pipe size is 4 inch, outside diameter is 114.3 millimeters, and the center to end of the 90 degree but weld long radius elbow length is 152 millimeters. We already know 4 inch weld and neck flange dimension, 77 millimeters, 4 inch equal T center to end dimensions, 105 and 105 millimeters, 4 inch but weld 90 degree elbow dimension is 152 millimeters. Let's write these dimensions on the 3D model of the pipeline. During fit up, between pipe fittings should be cap, approximately 3 millimeters, it is for welding. There are pipe fitting joints in four places in this pipeline. There will be a 3 millimeters gap in each of these joints. You can see this gap as practical now, in this video. During fit up, such are opened between the pipe fittings to be welded, and a gap of approximately 3 to 4 millimeters. Having this 3 4 millimeter gap is for better root welding. Let's start calculate the lengths of these two yellow colored pipe pieces separately. Our total length of this side is 963 mm minus flange dimension 77 mm minus center to end of the equal pipe T 105 mm minus 3 mm minus 3 mm equal is 775 mm. The length of the first pipe piece is 775 mm. Now, let's calculate other yellow colored pipe piece length. Total length 776 mm, minus center to end of the equal pipe T 105 mm, minus center to end of the 90 degree pipe elbow 152 mm, minus 3 mm, minus 3 mm, equal is 513 mm. The length of the second pipe piece is 513 mm. At last we calculate, and found length of yellow colored pipe pieces, one of the lengths is 775 mm others length is 513 mm. By using this method, you can easily calculate, lengths of pipe pieces in the any pipelines. This tutorial video is finishing here, if you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. You can watch like those videos, by entering the links in the description below, of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping tutorial channel, and turn on notifications, to be notified of our new piping tutorial videos in time. Your support is very important for us, let's not miss the comments, and likes, my friends. We are trying to improve the skills of pipe fitters with these training videos we have prepared. You can help our channel by watching these videos and sending the video links to your friends. Thank you for watching see you on next video, take care.